Next, we'll do two problems involving Christmas tree lights. And these are good problems because Christmas tree lights are something we're always fam we're all familiar with. And um, in this case, we're told that 20 identical Christmas tree lights are connected in series on a 120 volt circuit. And frustratingly, this is how they used to always make Christmas tree lights. Uh, they, they make them in parallel very often th today, but they used to always be in series. And that meant this. You had a little wire running here, and there's a, a socket here for the bulb and the wire runs along and there's another socket for the next bulb and then the wire runs along and this goes on for as many lights as you have and so you might have a little yellow light here and a blue one there and a red one there all these different colors of lights and they, they go on and on and on and then uh, I guess there's one at the end here and then the wire has to run back right this is um, a circuit so the wire has to run back to the source and I drew, drew it in green because they were usually wrapped up in a green plastic to kind of match the tree. But you imagine the electricity flowing in here along one wire and out along the other. And so the electrons are literally flowing through one bulb and then the next one and then the next bulb and then the next one and then the next one and then back. So it's a series circuit. And the problem is if one bulb goes out because the filament breaks, then that breaks the circuit and they all immediately go out. And the really frustrating thing was you didn't know which one had burned out because as soon as, as soon as one burned out, they would all go dark. And you would have to go unscrew one bulb and try plugging in a replacement. And if that didn't work, then you move to the next one. And you have to search systematically down the entire string of lights until you find, by trial and error, the one that was burned out. But eventually, someone had the, the realization that connecting them in parallel would solve that problem. And a lot of times, you find these done in parallel now. And when one light burns out, the other ones continue working because each one is on its own separate branch of the circuit. But in this problem, they're connected in series on a 120 volt circuit. So we have 20 lights connected in series on a 120 volt circuit. And we're told that the current is 0.24 amps and we're trying to find the resistance of each bulb. So we're going to use Ohm's law here. We know that V is equal to IR. And that's true for the circuit as a whole, and that's true for each individual bulb. Now, I can find the total resistance if I use this formula and solve it for R. I'll put in the total voltage and the total current. So this will be the total resistance, will be V over I. And we know it's 120 volts, and we know the current is 0.24 amps. And 120 divided by 0.4 comes out to 500. So that's the total resistance, 500 ohms. Now, if they're in series, it looks like this. They're all in a row. And it goes on and on. There's 20 of them. I won't draw all of them. But we know that the resistances add up. So there's 20 of those. And the total resistance of all 20 of them added together comes out to 500. So the resistance of each one, they're identical, remember. We're told that they're identical the resistance of each one will be 1 20th of the total. So R1 for one individual bulb. And it would also be the same for R2 or R3 or R4. is 500 ohms divided by 20. And that's all you have to do. It comes out to 25 ohms. 25 bulbs, or 20 bulbs, each with the resistance of 25 ohms gives you a total resistance of 500 ohms, which we found by calculating from the given information in the problem. All right, in this case, we're, we're told that 12 identical Christmas lights are connected in series on a 120 volt circuit. So there's 12 of them in this problem, 12. And it's 120 volts, which is a typical household circuit. And the current through the circuit is 0.32 amps. And we're trying to find the power in each bulb. OK, I'll solve this a couple of different ways. We know that P is IV. And so the power for the whole circuit we know will be the current for the whole thing, which we're given. That's 0.32 amps times the voltage for the whole thing, which we're given is 120 volts. So the power comes out to 38.4 watts. That's the total power. So the power in each one, there are 12 of them, the power in each one will be 1 12th of that. So I'll say P1, and this will be the same for P2 or P3 or any of them for all 12 of them will just be 38.4 watts 
divided by 12 comes out to 3.2 watts for each bulb. Okay, we could do this another way also. I'll show you a, another solution and of course it will give us the same answer. Here's the other solution. Okay, another way to solve it. We could say R is V over I, Ohm's law. We know there's 120 volts and 0.32 amps. Those two things were given in the problem. And we do the calculation and we get 375 ohms. So that's the, the resistance, the total resistance for the whole circuit. So the resistance for any one of them will be one twelfth of that because there's 12 bulbs. So 375 ohms divided by 12 comes out to 31.25 ohms. Okay, that's the resistance for one bulb. Now we can find the power for one bulb. And we know this formula, P is I squared R. And if we apply this concept to just a single bulb, we're going to put in the current for that bulb and the resistance for that bulb, and we'll get the power for that bulb. Well, the current is 0.32 amps, so this is 0.32 amps squared times the resistance, and we put in the resistance of one bulb, 31.25 ohms. And when you do that and do the calculation, it comes out to 3.2 watts. And again, either of these methods is okay. The one up top there is arguably a little bit easier because it's shorter and there's fewer calculations, but if it doesn't occur to you, this, this method is perfectly fine.